I wanted to show you how the interest rates have acted over the last couple of years. So this gives you an idea. Your federal student loans are fixed rate loans. They're not variable loans. However, they are kind of fixed variable rate loans. For the year that you borrow that loan, it's a fixed rate loan. The next year that you borrow a new UNSUB or GRAD Plus, the federal government decides on a new fixed rate, right? So if you're a P1, P2, D1, D2, whatever, you're in, let's say you're P1 this year, pharmacy first year, you borrowed in 2017-18 at 6%. It's, um, when you're a second year pharmacy student in 18-19, the federal government will, will decide on a new fixed rate for your second year's loans. However, the good thing is, for the life of the loan, that loan will not be a variable interest rate loan. For that amount that you borrowed in your first year, that fixed rate will stay the same. For the second year, that fixed rate will stay the same. So that is how it works. Of course, I mean, it, it was cheapest in 1617, so it went up a little bit, and the federal student interest rates have been a little bit higher than the market. So the private student lenders, um, they have been awarding private student loans at a cheaper rate, to be honest, because the market has been low if you have good credit. However, you all have professional students, or majority of you are, if, if, if any of you are not. Uh, we never recommend you to borrow the private student loans because there are so many loan repayment options that the federal government provides so that you can benefit from them uh, in the long run. Uh, with private, if you borrow private loans, you will not be able to do that. So that's why we, we try to stay away from the private student loans. Um, so there is another cost to you that's called the origination fee when you're borrowing student loans. And you can see what percentage is being taken out. So every now and then I get a new M1 student, oh, Pamela, I received this much money, but this is not the amount I was awarded. It's a little bit less than you know what I was awarded. What happened to a couple of hundred dollars? Because the federal government charges that origination fee. So we award you a certain amount, 1.069% of your UNSUP always goes to the government for your origination fee. The cost, obviously, for the Grad Plus is higher. You're paying at 4.276%, your origination fee. So while almost a dollar of your every $100 UNSUP is going to origination fee, it's like $4 for every $100 Grad Plus you, you, you borrow that you're paying origination fee. So that's why the interest is higher and the origination fee is a little bit higher. That's why the grad class is the one that you need to be conser conservative.